Hello guys, I hope you all are fine. So, today's chapter we are going to learn about some more SQL commands. In the previous chapters we have seen there are various SQL commands and their uses. In today's uh, class we will see the various SQL commands like SQL case, SQL prefix, a record separator, separator character, then we'll see the uh, null value if we have null value how can we change it to some other value if we have null value in a table in a column how to change a null value to some other string value or other text value okay and uh, there is a num width which of that then various column formatting okay so we'll see one by one so let's see first is sql case so uh, let me show you the use of SQL case. The default value of SQL case is mixed. If you see, it is mixed. What the use of this uh, SQL case? You see, if I show you an example, like select uh, star from EMP where employee name equal to Smith. If I write in a small case, you see, no record is there. Uh, it, it is not fetching any record because it always case sensitive because the smith is in upper case so uh, so the oracle sql plus provide you a few feature like if you set the sql case to upper then if you write in small character also or uh, lower character lower case it will show you in the upper case let let's see like suppose i'm setting sql case to upper okay if i type so sql case you see it is upper right now so if i run the same query this time because you see it is in a small case it should not fetch any record because in the table there is no record whose name is smith in this smaller case the smith is there but in upper case so if i run the query it will bring because i have already made the SQL case to upper here okay which means if I execute if I type any value if I search any value with the lower case it will automatically convert into the upper case that is the use of setting SQL case to upper okay and if I set SQL case to lower okay if I set the SQL case to lower then what happen if I type select star from EMP and employee name equal to Smith okay if I type, type like this you see the Smith is already there in the table it is also in the upper case but it is not fetching any record because we have made the SQL case to lower which means it is assuming that this name which you are searching it is in lower case that's why it could not able to bring but if i update this name into lower case you see update emp set e name equal to smith Just let me check the employee of the Smith. So select star from EMP. So the employee number of Smith is 76 now. So if I update uh, EMP set E name equal to Smith in small case and uh, where employee name equal to uh, see employee number equal to seven pre six nine okay two hundred update and if i do the commit no, no need to do commit if i execute the same command previously you see i'm typing in uh, capital case but we have updated into the uh, a lower case so you see it brings because it understood that the sql case is in lower okay but we have given it as a upper case i hope you understood so in the next command you'll see sql prefix so sql prefix means if i show you the value let me create the screen 
and if I type so SQL prefix, it is has. What is the use of this SQL prefix? If you see, the SQL prefix is used inside a select command. That means you are writing a select command and in that select command, you want to execute a SQL plus command. So, so I'll show you. So you see, I'm typing select and and uh, within that select statement, I want to uh, uh, execute a SQL, SQL plus command. How to execute? Using this prefix has. You can change this prefix to any other character, but as you have the has symbol, if I type has and after that I'll type describe, it is a SQL plus command. And if I type EMP table, you will see it shows me the structure of the employee table. And after that, I will type select star from EMP, it shows me the records. What happened? Using this uh, prefix symbol, you can has SQL prefix has symbol, you can uh, show any kind of uh, uh, like uh, SQL plus command. Like I will show you another example. Like select, I am trying to use so is a SQL plus command and I'm going to use so user. You see, it shows me the user is HR. And again, if I type so uh, like heading, the heading is on, you see, any command, any number of command I can type like so uh, underline, you see. And after the effort type select, as I have written in the top select, so if I type some command, exact SQL command, also it executes. So the SQL prefix is used with the select statement and uh, within the select statement we can run a SQL plus command that is uh, a really important I mean uh, uh, it's really helpful to execute SQL plus command in a select statement next is record separator character what is the use of that let's see let me clear the screen if I type so rec sep character it is space okay and uh, if I show you another rec sep what is the use of that? I'll show you. I'll tell you. Okay. Rexep is that. What is the use of that? You see, the Rexep character, you see, whenever we we'll write a select query, and the record is uh, coming in. But thing is that if we want to display a, uh, a, a symbol after each row, you want to display a line after each row. How you can do that? means you want to uh, add a symbol or add a character for each record you are displaying. So how can you do that? First, for to do that, you have to type uh, like I, I want to set asterisk symbol after each record. So how can I do like set a reg save character as a star. Okay. And I have shown you the reg save. It is wrapped. Wrapped means whenever uh, it will, whenever a value will be displayed, and if the value will be not displayed within a line, then it will wrap into the second line. So like that. So I I don't want to use the wrap. I want to use like set rake save each. Okay. So which means after each record, it will display the star. That's why I have made set reg separator as each and you see if i type select a star from emp then you'll see star will come is it after each record a star is coming in but before that let me set some page size as line size as 100 and if i execute the same command i think it is a better look you see after each record a star is coming in i hope you understood okay any symbol you can make like if you, if you want to rake shape care as a light or plus something like that and if i execute the query you see plus is coming in so that means after each record after each row a new line is coming in that is plus line of loss symbol okay the next command you will see 
uh, null value. What is the use of this? So let me clear the screen. Set a null some string. That means you see whenever I will query a employee table. So first, make, I have to make it up. Rec save here. Okay. So if I type, sorry, let's do it. So now, if you see, uh, like you see, for the commission column, we have some null values. Okay. So you want, you don't want to display the null value. You want to display like uh, not available, something like that. Or if you want to display, suppose you see for the MGR managing number, manager number, for the president doesn't have any manager number because he is a president. So you want to display a uh, like not available something like that. Or in the commission you want to display some value. Okay, uh, except the null. So how can you do that? So for that you have to type set null, and if uh, if you will display like uh, not available, okay, like this. What you'll do if I type if I write a query like select star from EMP, wherever there is a null value, you see here is a null value, so it displays n a. Here is a null value, that's why it displays n a. Here in the precedent, manager number is not there, that's why it says it shows not available. That is n a. Okay. And as it is a uh, uh, it is a character, so it displays over here, not uh, from here. Okay. So, like if I display something like uh, set null is uh, uh, like zero, okay. So, if I execute the, this, you see, uh, always shows zero, okay. So, next command is set num width. So, what is the use of this? Set num width means if I show you so num width, it is by default it is 10. Okay, and if you make it something like uh, suppose select uh, star from MP, and if we set num width to 4, okay, and if we execute the query, you see. The difference you see like for the employee number is okay employee name is okay job is okay and uh, MGR you see uh, what it will do for the, whatever the number values are there it will try to make it as a four digit okay num width that means whatever the number value will be there it will try to make it it will make it four digit it will display as a four digit okay if we make it three and if we execute the query you see it is not displaying hash is coming in because wherever hash is coming in that means there is more than three values are there more, more than the length of the values is more than three okay that's why it is showing hash symbol and if we make it again four then it will so as the width as a four okay so that is the use of uh, num width and then next is column column name null string what is the use of that so previously i'll so i so i shown you like uh, how to set a null value into some other value as for your requirement but what if you want to for a particular column you want to display the null value something and for the entire table column value null value you want to show some other value okay let's have a look so first what i'm going to do so column column name for uh, i have mgr in mgr managing number there is a one row one column value that is uh, is null okay for that so column mgr if it is null i want to display as a only a and a okay and for others, for others means, uh, for others, how can I say it? Set null is 
not available like this okay so, let me on. so if i write the query sorry for that wait we have to make set number is something six okay and then you see you see we set MGR for the MGR we set NA you see you know, previously for the MGR column MGR if we have null value we set as a NA but for others we set null value for the NA that means except MGR other wherever we will see any null value are there it will show like this you see for the MGR it displays a NA but for others it displays a N slash A so that is the use of uh, uh, this uh, column column name null value that means for one column if we have null value what what value other value we want to set and this set null is for all the uh, for all the columns wherever there is a null value okay and the last but not least this column column name no print what is the use of that if i type column column name that is mgr or commission no print which means it will whenever i'll fetch the table it will not bring this column that's why column column name no print if i type select star from emp you see commission column it doesn't fetch the column commission i hope you understood this concept if we have any kind of doubt you can please try to give comments and please like my video and hit the bell icon to get the latest videos. Thanks to all of you.